Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link data from one sheet into another, and that way then you can always bring in the information that you want and have smart sheets. So what do I mean by this? So in here, I've got my RAID log, and I want it in the project column to always have the name of the project. So this project is called Yarika, and I'm bringing it in. But I can have this so that if I've got a template or something changes on this cell, that that information will be changed at its source. So all I need to do in this case is I'm going to right click, bring up this menu here and say link to, from cell in another sheet. I'm going to click here and it will bring up the menu and I'm going to find Viarica. And what I'm looking for is Viarica project metadata. Again, it's always a good reason why you name your items. Um, so they're easy to find when you search. And I'm going to select the cell that I want to use and create a link. And hey, presto, that is there. And if I zoom in a touch, you can see there's a little blue arrow pointing towards the left. And that says it's a link in from the Eureka project metadata sheet. So I'm zoom back out again. And there, there you have it in terms of that. Now, again, this can be updated. If I was to go to this sheet here and change this to be Bukon, which is a place in Chile next to um, well, the foot of the volcano Villarica. Um, so if I change that to Pucon and save it, then that will also update. So that will refresh through and come through to here. And you can see that has now been updated from that data, which is fantastic on that piece. So one that's doing one cell. If, however, you want to do multiple cells at once, you can also do this bit. So if I go back to the portfolio sheet, and often if you're using a PMO template, you're going to want to have this information which goes one way, and then you want all these cells here pulling the data from the project sheet. As you can see above, these are being updated as they go, as the things change in the project. So you want these to update. So again, you use a cell link, and it always goes to that specific cell and finds it. So all I need to do is select the cell, go away, go to the far side, and I right click, and I'm going to link cell from another sheet. And again, I'm going to ask it to go to the Viarica metadata sheet. And in here, I'm going to select exactly the same ones that I want to use, go all the way across to the side, and create link. And now you can see they've pulled in, and the various information in here, you can see these are all aligned. And so that will be updated. So as and then when I start updating the project and I start putting in a project description, for example, then that information will start flowing through, which again is really useful because it just means your data flows automatically from sheets. And when someone updates the status, it will flow through as well. So there you have it. Those are cell links in terms of where they are fixed to a specific cell in another sheet. I'll show you in another video how you can then use formulas to link information and pull the right information back from another sheet. I'll show you that elsewhere. So thanks for watching. This has been Rich Coles with Proactive Project Solutions with tips and tricks to help you use SmartSheet more efficiently. Bye for now.